So welcome back everybody, welcome back to the Doc Squiffy channel. So we've been covering a lot of Fire Stick update videos, updating your Fire Stick, and today we're going to be doing another video regarding security settings, because this is a really important update that you need to know about to keep yourself safe on your device. So, what are we talking about today? Today is regarding the Fire Stick recording you, listening to you, recording your voice, everything like that, and I'm going to show you how to switch that off, and I'm going to show you how to delete it, and then we're also going to set it up so you can do it manually by voice control to delete the voice control. This is good. Why are they recording you guys? I don't like anything recording you. We all know many apps record us, and if we've got an opportunity to turn it off, let's do it. So, first things first, if you can, easiest way, hit that subscribe button underneath the video, hit that thumbs up, and drop me a comment, and if you're a regular viewer, do drop me a share as well. It's very important you subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the security fixes and all the other streaming content we have for you on this great channel. So, every time we use our Fire Stick, hello, Fire Stick here, I'm on a Fire Stick or Fire TV Cube or any Amazon device, guys, with Alexa built into it, any device with Alexa built into it and you use your Alexa on it to search something. So you could be searching a movie, you should be searching an app, you could be searching or shopping anything and you ask it to do something. Literally, when you use your Fire Stick and you go, Alexa, find me a movie to watch. But you might ask a specific movie. You know, you might ask for something, you might search a streaming app you shouldn't have on there. It records you. And we don't like this. So how do we delete it? Right. This is a bit different this time. It is not on your Fire Stick itself. You need to go on to the web page of Amazon, where your account is, guys, okay? So this is my Amazon page. It might be slightly different laid out in different countries, but the process is the same. So get to your Amazon homepage. Then, up where you have accounts and lists, you go in there, and you go down, and you've got to find doo -doo -doo -doo, your apps and devices, okay? Your apps and devices. And in here, on the left, it's for me, your devices, okay? Brilliant. This will list up all your devices for you. So what you can do from here, easiest way is if you click on one of the devices, manage your content and devices, okay? Manage your content and devices. Doesn't really matter which one you go into, because once you get into here, you click on your devices, and they're all there, okay? So for me, I have seven. <laughs> don't even know where these all are now, but seven all the way back to an old looking fire stick there. It's in the garage somewhere. And what you can do, first things first, click on one, delete voice recordings, you see it? And delete. Okay, the thing is, you want to go through all of them if you want them all deleted, but it's fine, delete voice recordings. So you literally click on it, and then delete voice recordings. That's the simple part. But what we're going to do is change the settings so it doesn't even keep that recording of you. What right do they have to have recordings of your voice? Yes, they say they do it for teaching and marketing. Well, yeah, marketing. You know, and where else is it going? You know, it might just be me being paranoid, but if I've got an opportunity to delete it, I'm deleting it, okay? So, from here, we can then go to privacy settings, okay? So you've got Alexa privacy, which is one. So here, you can review your voice history, okay? Review history of deleted sounds, um, of detected sounds, sorry. Review smart history, manage skill permissions, all in here. You can look at these bits if you actually wanted to review it. Manage your Alexa data. So once you get to manage your Alexa data, here, enable deletion by voice, turn that on. That means when we're on our actual Fire Stick, you can tell it to delete what I just said, okay? or Alexa delete everything I said today. So after you search something, you can delete it. Or this one here, choose how long to save recordings for. I've changed it, don't save recordings, delete any previous recordings, the bottom one. Again, this is my preference. You might want to let them record you. You might want them to keep your recordings and your voice up to you. But for me, delete and don't save voice recordings. Really easy, that's the main one we've got to get to, folks, okay? Don't save recordings. And that's it. You can go down and... what. Get rid of your smart home deletions, everything like that. Have a little look through anything you might want to get rid of. So brilliant. So once you've done that, that should all be set up for you. We're going to go back to our Fire Stick any second. Obviously, if you're on the internet and you want to check out the rest of my YouTube channel, this is the prime place to subscribe after you've just done those settings because as you can see here, we've got setting up a Fire Stick. We've got secret codes for your Fire Stick, 10 times faster shortcuts. We've got a... Um, delete these settings. This is a real big security settings video. I will actually link this one underneath because... It's important. It's had 315,000 views in two weeks. 
huge. Plus, we've got your streaming apps, movie apps, TV apps, all on the channel. So hit that subscribe and do ring the little bell next to it as well. Right, Fire Stick. So now on our Fire Stick, we are all set up. We've deleted everything. We've changed the settings. So now, Alexa, find me a movie. There we go. Alexa, delete everything I've said today. You'd like to delete the recordings of everything said to me today. Is that right? Yes. Okay, I'll delete them. Brilliant. Now that's set up on your Fire Stick as well, so you can delete it straight away. Obviously, we've changed the settings so it doesn't keep any recordings, but I don't trust it anyway, so I'm deleting it as I go. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm a little bit paranoid, but it is what it is. So, remember, we do not change the settings on the Fire Stick. We change them on the Amazon website, okay? On the Amazon website. Nice and easy. Before you go, if you are really worried about your security, like most of us are, we like to stay safe online, we've got a link from one of our partners underneath. IP Vanish VPN is there to keep you secure. You can put it directly on your Fire Stick and you can put it on unlimited devices from one account, okay? And this will help you stay safe online. It will protect your information and your data. It will stop people throttling your speeds. Um, online safety, internet privacy, simplified data protection, all on one device or from one VPN. Very good, $3.20 a month to stay safe isn't a lot. That is an affiliated link underneath guys, so if you did want to support the channel and you are after a VPN, that's the best way to do it. But if you're not worried about that, you can search IP Vanish on its own, but you may not get the cheap prices. We get the good offers to offer to you guys. So that is linked underneath. And if you want to stay up to date with all my other content, I have a Twitter underneath, which actually shares pretty much everything on there. Um, my play buttons, everything like that on all my other channels, and a bit of just me in general, and some of the other videos. We've got a streaming news channel linked underneath. We've got a virtual reality channel linked underneath as well, which is new. Check them all out. They're all there for you to keep you up to date. Some are for safety, some are for tech, and some are just for fun. So check them out. And we are on Facebook, where we go live a few times a week, and we do have a Facebook group, TikToks, Instagrams, everything is linked underneath for you. So, we subscribe, we keep ourselves safe, and I'll see you soon. Closing on 330,000 subscribers, depending when you're watching this video, hopefully you will join the family, and I'll see you on the next one.